Hey y'all, it's Roswell. I want to do something different this time and do a video update rather than the picture update. Try to mix things up a little and show you what my garden's doing right now. This is one of my garlic beds. This is actually wild garlic that you see popping up. And uh, in here in the corner that's bunching, it's actually shallots. And in this little bed right here is actually some catnip I got from uh, a TSP friend of mine named Kohut. You might know from uh, this file podcast forum or from his website behind Kohut's fence. And over here you can see this is actually my first bed. This is 4x4 four four bed laid out in the square foot gardening fashion with the wood lathe overlaid to make the grid pattern. And like all my, like most of my beds, it has this uh, metal fencing to keep bunnies and stuff out. My oregano is doing awesome. I actually only planted it in one square, and now it's in four. So I have a feeling it's going to take everything over soon. And a lot of shallots in here, as well as some garlic chives there and there. And this is actually some other garlic, I mean, garlic, some more oregano I planted over here that uh, I think is probably going to join forces with that at some point. Next to that would be my mint beds. I have two of them just because um, that was the wood I had, so I made two. I had originally just kind of laid them, laid them in on the ground and didn't have it in a bed at all, but... It's really hard to control, so you have to do something. So all this will keep them out. Really, the fencing is more um, to keep animals out because I like I make a lot of mint jelly, and I don't want my dog walking on it and stuff like that. Okay, so I'll show you the rest. Let's walk down here. Um, oh yeah, the, right here I have these are just some. Um, uh, mostly empty pots, they have weeds and some, some strawberries and wild garlic. I haven't planted much in there this, this season, so I'll be replanting it. As you can see, the, uh, this metal thing, towers here actually were uh, tomato cages, so that'll probably be housing some more tomatoes this year. Okay, I'm back over here. Um, these empty pots you see right here are shallots that I planted late. Uh, hopefully they'll come up. I really like some scapes. Those are delicious, which is kind of... It's the part of the plant before it's flowering. Um, and in here is, is my elephant garlic bed, or leeks, as they're sometimes called. And in the corner, of course, is some shallots, which have come up. Um, elephant garlic is really big. It's one clove is about the size of a normal garlic bulb. And as you can see, the top basically looks like the top of a pineapple. But it, it is more mild than uh, garlic and has a different taste. So I'm looking forward to that harvest. Okay, walk down here. Oh, before I do, I'll show you. Um, I do have some rosemary over there, as well as a couple blueberry bushes, which haven't come to life yet this season. And against the fence, um, which is kind of blending in, are some dwarf apple trees, which haven't uh, come into bloom yet either. So, and that's my dog, uh, Tessa, which one of my garden sentinels out on patrol. Okay, walk over here. As you can see, I've erected a, little, a small barrier, um, this little plastic barrier I got at uh, Home Depot to keep separate my lawn from my garden. And then I laid down a bunch of wood chips and cardboard to keep the weeds out. And this is one of my broccoli beds. I just recently transferred from uh, the garage, my seed starting station, and some garlic on the end. I put garlic everywhere because it keeps the pest away and we eat a lot of it. And this is one of my garden tubs. I have a couple of them. 
they were basically just, it was kind of an experiment to see how many different things I could grow in a small space and what got along. And it did pretty good. So these were marigolds, garlic, um, I think, they, yeah, these are two different types of lettuce. Um, this would be the buttercrutch, which is a darker green, and the lighter green is the black seeded symptom. And some carrots, as well as uh, some Lola Rosa, which is some red leaf lettuce. And over here we have my deep bed, which is 18 inches deep, um, primarily for the root crops like carrots and whatnot. Right now I have some carrots in there, as I mentioned, um, as well as a, a lot more broccoli and some garlic in the corner. In these two pots right here, which haven't come up yet, I planted some bok choy, which is Chinese cabbage. Uh, this is my first year growing that, so we'll see how that does. And this garden tub is pretty much the same stuff as in that other one over there. So I won't go over that again. And this bed um, is one of my cucumber beds. Currently, cucumbers aren't planted in there yet. It just has some garlic in the front. And Blinky, my favorite owl. One of my other garden sentinels. So, over here, got some more bok choy waiting to come up. And this is actually my other broccoli bed. Um, I believe the stuff I showed you up there is the broccoli de Cicio, and this is the broccoli calabrese, different type. And over here, this is, these are some of my newer beds, so I haven't put the fencing up. But this is a cauliflower bed. And this will be another cucumber bed. As you can see, I put the trellis up. And it's got garlic in the front, and cucumber will go in the back. And this is straight up garlic bed. Like I said, we love it, so we can't get enough. So we plant as much as we can. And in this, this corner right here is uh, some spicy globe basil I planted last year, which I let go to seed, so hopefully that'll be popping up pretty soon too. And let's see, it's over here. I don't know if you can see that. We got some more um, shallots and another basil plant. So hopefully all that will be popping up pretty soon. And in this bed, as well as the one behind it, I kind of have a mixture of a lot of different things. Um, see, I have shallots and garlic, collard greens, and some more broccoli. I believe this is uh, the decisio as well as a little bit of uh, buttercrunch lettuce and Lola Rosa. Just kind of been planting stuff uh, in succession where it dies. and So these beds just kind of became a mixture. Another little experiment. <laughs> so over here we have my main lettuce bed, um, which of course has a big fence, as you can see. We have huge rabbit problems, and rabbits love my lettuce. Mainly what you're seeing here is uh, this dark green is buttercrunch lettuce, buttercrunch leaf lettuce, which is our favorite type, um, as well as some black seeded Simpson over here, which we, we like as well. It gives a little bite. Um, and some shallots and garlic mixed in to keep the pest away. So, that's pretty much it for now until uh, the next set comes out from under the lights and goes back out. So, I want to give you all a rundown. And if you have any suggestions or comments, I'd love to hear them either on the YouTube video or uh, and comment on the blog or on my Facebook page. Until next time, keep making a holdstead one day at a time.